Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. Today is episode number 13, which normally means something is going to go wrong today. Um, but somehow we need to get. There we go. Um, so we also have ID passes that have ran out by the looks of it. Oh, what is Dead! We killed them all! Oh well. They're the bad guys anyways. This area is for authorized personnel only. You're not supposed to be here, are you? I guess that's what I was wondering. Yeah. When you put it that way, it does sound pretty unlikely. Still, you should go. I don't think the other guards will be as rational about this as I am. If you say so. Right, how do we get back? Here we go. Use the elevator. Oh! What on earth has happened here? Oh, I am unaware of what has happened here. Would you guys like to check the last episode and find out? Now, I'm worried that when I walk out here, everyone's going to be hostile because of the way that I handled it. And if the... Ah, uh, oh, we're done for. Slightly. Because all the people out here will have strong, powerful weapons. Uh Lovely. Charming. They're actually alright with us. Um, so we need to head back to our ship now. Uh, this has got to be a long walk back. But what I do want to take a look is take a look around this place. Because we've got like parcel service in that. Um, but I am wondering if we have any form of vendors. Executive office. Quarantine sprat sighted. Mm. But what would they be doing here? And how did they ever get permission to land? 
You've just missed all the excitement, unfortunately. <laughs> that was a weird laugh. <laughs> Uh, right, let's go across here. Sup! I just destroyed your boss. How do you feel? Transition to the interior of the unreliable. So I realise now, when I sold all that Adreno the other day, that that was actually my health. I didn't realise Adreno was the health thing in the inhaler. And I sold it all. And now I'm struggling because I can't find Adreno on anyone. Um, members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you call. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, Parvati. Not the gun. You're in control, Parvati. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you. Um. Oh. There we go. Um. We need to... No, we don't care about Felix. There we go. Now we've got health put into our um, inhaler. Near Molten Cell Tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to the belt. You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. Who is Sophia? It looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. You walked through Edgewater and in your wake transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. I'm actually a little impressed. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. <laughs> You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. You are making a serious mistake. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's get out of here. I don't see what Phineas is doing wrong. Because he's trying to bring all the colonists back. Orbital lab, Captain. And we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself? Or would you like to do the honors? Yeah, I'll do the honors. Um, so I want to take uh, Pavati into Phineas's lab. Because I want to see what her reaction would be to it. Um, so we're gonna go with Pavati. I love this picture though, where it's just like everything's just scribbled on there. Don't touch this. The entrance itself needs more security, apparently. That's not very helpful, to be honest. Phineas, I'm coming to get ya. Hang on, has Phineas got his own ship? Do you think we could get that ship? I hope that we can get new ships, because I kind of want to see uh, what the other ships look like. Phineas, I got your ship, now give me some ship. I've kept myself busy in your absence, optimised my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. 
Self oxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. What? Oh, yes. Well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working lamps can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. Mm hmm. I didn't want to kill them, but... Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? What nonsense! People aren't just slabs of meat the board can freeze and thaw at their convenience. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. No, no, it wasn't. We have, well, let's see, we, we have at least some of the chemicals. We have your ship and we have you. Let us to count for something. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. Uh, we could skip the hope into systems. across the distance of colony space right next to my lab yes yes exactly you're a step ahead of me but I perceive the shape of your plan if we link up the hope to the unreliable then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2 I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I'll do it. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. 
scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Certainly. How can I help? Um, should I expect any resistance? It surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Well, I... Uh, I got a notice of Dragon thing. Unlikely. The hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the Rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. <laughs> That's all for now. Alright, we got a load of skills that we can get. Uh, we got 40 skill points in total. So one thing I wanted to do was upgrade this... ...to max... Uh, ...for hack and lockpick. And then I also want to get... Twenty there. Um, and then I also want some more on dialogue. Dialogue is very important in this game, actually. Uh, we'll stick with that for now. Um, and then we also need three perks as well. So, 25% chance to re reset a companion ability cooldown on each critical hit. We need carry capacity, definitely. Um, fifteen percent health restored per kill. That's actually kind of useful. Uh, apply. We'll go for them. Uh, and I know Nioka and Pavati both have skills that need to be done. Twenty percent damage to creatures. Apply that. Uh, 10% chance to extract mods in the field. That's actually kind of useful. Um, and chance to reset ability cooldown on ability use would be useful as well. Um, I think that should be good. Uh, let's run to the Hope Docking Bay thing. See, this feels like what the whole goal of the game started out as, is the Hope Colony. The fact is, we haven't seen half of the planets yet, or other stuff, so I'm hoping this isn't the end. And I have suspicions that this can't be the end, and that something's going to go wrong. 
Um, just because of the fact that, well, there isn't enough done yet. Um, we haven't done enough on the actual game itself. Some, you're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. Well, shoot a... That's on account of the You mean it. Embrace it. Perfect. You're in control here, part body, not the gun. Right, um, this gun I want to upgrade. Quiet muzzler. Magnum. And extendo sight would probably be good, I presume. Do I want to put an extendo sight? Uh, probably not yet. Repair and repair. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. Right, let's go to the Hope Docking Bay. Actually, one thing I haven't done for ages is checked armor. Is there an armor workstation here? Wait, we got an... A sign for Edgewater in our ship. Graham's patch, sentry saber. Is it time for your regular daily period of unconsciousness? Nope, not yet. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells... Ah, uh, well, I don't care what... Doc... Dr. Wells has a good we selling point. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, let's jump to the Hope. Transition to the Hope. Um, I don't really want to take Pavati. I'm going to take Felix for a bit. Because um, Felix and Neoka are both really powerful with their weapons. Um, I know I could upgrade them even more. Um, but I think it should be good enough for now. Um... Hey, boss. I've been thinking. What have you been thinking? You know, they're going to make a serial about our adventures one day. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the skip job. No, 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 wait. I got it. Hope in dark times. Get it? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Got a list right here. <laughs> Thrilling tales of the unreliable. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of the system. Was also considering 
Astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. I prefer the adventures of Craig and company. Not bad. Got a nice ring to it. Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I can't wait. I like your attitude. Enough to boost my pay? I'm just kidding, boss. I know you don't pay me. <laughs> I'm sure you've got plans to make. As for me, I gotta keep practicing my signature dropkick. The hope might have cameras. The hope might have cameras. Uh, okay. Wait, what? They're not hostile? Uh, hibernation storage status. Uh, I think we're all looking good for that. Level 19, that's good. You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. Okay, this is where our... Explode? Holy shit. All right. You'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. They're dangerous mix of bored and trigger happy. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck. To your right, which is my left. Uh, whereabouts are they? Okay, that's cool. You get tired of patrolling? Go fuck somebody else. Why does it run out? Silver tongue kit. Ooh. is not experiencing errors. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. 
What? Captain, I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? Oh, sorry. File not found. Thanks. Sweet. Records indicate you have already been identified as non-standard personnel. State your purpose. Error. Binary detected. Binary has been deprecated since the invention of Anticleo's patented Trippinary language. Trippinary. More bits for your bits. We appreciate your cooperation. Have a Um, whereabouts do we need to go? Ah, oh, yes, it refreshes. That's good. Hello, Commander. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to... <laughs> Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather <laughs> cramped feeling, but it'll do. Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm. My constellation executables could use some beefing up. <laughs> Searching. Please stand by. Ah, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Cool, let's do it then. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. How does skipping it void and also the warranty? Kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? No, it's not. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. I wouldn't advise that, Captain. Oh no. Captain, don't do this. I ain't dying on a fucking ship. <laughs> we're dying in the dirt like we're meant to. Admitting a deficit? My, <laughs> you never cease to amaze me, Captain. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something, now. Cutscene.
Oh, good. We are still and we alive. are here. And have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Hey, we made it. Let's do it again. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? Oh, hell. Uh, no one informed me of any surprise inspection. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I'll just get out of your way. Keep your hands to yourself. That, I love these lines that we can use. Repeatedly getting caught by guards has made you jittery. Uh, that is definitely one I don't want to take. Why did he start shooting me? Why did they start shooting me? That's fine, because I don't care about the board, so they can die. How did Fioka, Fioka, Nioka, and Felix just like get destroyed? They were like one shotted. That is seriously crazy though. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Ow, wow. Captain, I am receiving a transmission just from Dr. Cool. Wells. The transmission is marked with priority status. Urgent! Yo, I didn't notice that we had lockers in here that we could have looted. Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. The board is here. They found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? How can I be of assistance? Mm hmm Shit! So now Hope has moved from now all the way up there to down here. Top secret orbital lab. Oh no! Right, let's go with Pavati and Felix. We haven't done that combination in a while. We've still got three more people to find, and obviously something did go wrong, which means either Phineas is dead, or Phineas is smart and he's hidden in the wreckage. And obviously all the other bored people are dead. But Phineas is hiding somewhere.
Where's Phineas's body? Where is his body? Right, we need to upgrade our hack ability. Phineas can't have died. Well, I'm looting his place anyways. I don't care. What's this? Finn's force. Great work. Gold armor. Oh, that's nice. I might be able to upgrade that. Maybe we might have to use this terminal here. What did that message say? Uh, we need to find a password then. Give me a minute. Doc Wells never hurt nobody. Just a kindly old fella living by his lonesome up in the rings, tinkering at his table. The board just couldn't leave him be. Mr. Phineas is just about the only person with power trying to do any kind of good in Halcyon. We gotta bust him out. To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. We can't abandon I him. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. You if got you really guns. need to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. Got my trusty tossball stick. Got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Outstanding. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Right? Waiting on your command, Captain. Um, no. Not yet. Because we need to go to the bar with Pavati to... Uh, do that mission, because... Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Uh, we need to do that, and then we'll do... Good luck, Captain. 
the other thing. So Pavati needs to come with us. The Lost Hope. Let's go. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. I don't know. Bottoms up. I don't drink alcohol. I'm no expert on wine, but ain't you supposed to drink that stuff with your little finger up? <laughs> wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? A <laughs> whining, it sounds like. Yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about Jun Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automech with a busted nav chip. You want to know what I think? I think you should write what you want to say down in your hand. Always work for me. Uh. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Well, you never know. Uh, I, I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. Mmm. It did. Oh dear, I hadn't really... Oh my goodness. And I told you? So, Parvati, you gonna read this poem for us, or do we have to turn down the lights first? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to... Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? Thinking so makes me liable to lose my lunch, Captain. I never... I never done this before. A relationship. How do I know if she cares the same way I do? I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. <laughs> Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. <laughs> Hydration, here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shush you. <laughs> oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but <sighs> I'm so scared. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? <laughs> Fuck if I know. Oh, there's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Of course. Uh... Huh. She seems perfect to me. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside. I don't want to be that person. Well, Captain, this has been... Oh, gosh, I... Yes. All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. <laughs> okay. I I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Thanks for hearing me out. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. All right. Thank you guys. 
You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Yeah, it's called the ship. What's wrong with the ship? Uh, okay. We need to go back to the ship. Right, we're back on the ship. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. I messaged June Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Oh, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes. But I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. <laughs> I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have. Like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her. So if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit ro- mm. I ought to go fight her back. Go on then. Right, we need to go and rescue Phineas, but in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.